If you've been part of this channel, if you've watched any of my videos, if you have seen the sort of things people say in the comment sections, I want you to hang around for a little bit and I want you to meaningfully contribute in the comment section down below. I've been absent from social media for a month. I've been completely removed from Instagram, not posting on YouTube, and that's because I was dealing with a lot of things and it was difficult. And in the last weekend, I monitored the situation. I monitored what was being said about the murder of George Floyd. And um, I realized that I have a duty as somebody with a social media platform to meaningfully contribute. And while I'm happy I didn't jump in and start saying, I, I was silent over the weekend and I'm glad I did that because when you're grappling with visceral anger, shock, disgust, and confusion all at the same time on the other end, your biggest fear, at least my biggest fear, is not being able to meaningfully contribute. Wasting that opportunity on saying something that, that isn't going to help. But now I think it's time. I want to remind everybody this is not this, you know, racial inequality and uh, racial inequality and injustice is not just something that we see in the States. It's happening right here in Halifax right now. I always get the question, is Halifax welcoming? Is Halifax nice? Or, this happens everywhere in the world. You will not escape it anywhere you go because just last year alone, just last year, we had street checks in Halifax where African Nova Scotians were unfairly and disproportionately stopped by police in the city. And yes, the police did issue an apology, but where does this come from? Until we spend a moment not only putting our police force and our systems under a microscope and scrutinizing the systems that are, but until we turn a microscope on ourselves, delve deep and ask ourselves, what are our own ra racial biases? What are our own prejudices? And how do we change that? And until we do that, it's not going to work. And I don't mean asking yourself matter-of-factly, what are they? Oh, it's this, I have a rough idea, maybe I can change it, I'll be good. No, turn it back on yourself. Sit down and have a truly deep, meaningful discussion. Go back in your history and trace it back and ask yourself until it gets comfortable and you feel it in the pit of your stomach because you will, you will. Unless you're, unless you're a sociopath, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. Um, and I want you to look for that feeling of discomfort and ask yourself, what are my prejudices? Why do I have them and how do I change it? And I think this is really important. So this message, I'm not trying to make this, this channel about, about negativity. The last time I came was to, to, to share a, a message about my condolences because there was a shooting in Nova Scotia. And before that, it was to say, coronavirus is happening and I hope everyone's doing okay. It's just been disaster after disaster after disaster. And this has been a trying time for me in the channel, uh, just adapting around how all this crazy shit is happening. How am I going to talk about it? And should I be talking about it? And then, and after thinking and deliberating, the answer I came to was yes, I should be talking about it. We should all be talking about it. And if there's something that I say that isn't correct or something that I say that is wrong, correct me. But please be sensitive, be caring, and be conscious of the way that you're treating other people, about the way that you view people, and the way that your subconscious works its way into society, into your behaviors and in all of your actions. And that's something that I'm trying to do myself too. And this time that I've spent away from social media, it wasn't to abandon the channel. It wasn't to pursue my own you know, professional career. While I was working on these things and I was diligently focusing on new things in my life, it was to consider these factors. How do we not make every single video about, hey, let's look at this thing. How do we turn it around a little bit and make some more meaningful content that's going to reach people. And I think these are kind of the first stages and I just hope I'm doing my part. And I really thank you for, for being part of the channel. I hope you're well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.